Speaking of ridiculing other people, our next myth concerns the idea that you haven't beaten Monster Hunter until you have reached a particular point in the game. There's a myth that in order to complete a game, you have to, for example, see the end credits roll, or you have to beat the flagship monster, or you have to beat the final monster, or you have to achieve a certain hunter rank or master rank, or you have to complete all the quests, or you have to get all the achievements, or on and on. You get the idea. Truth is, the game is over whenever you want it to be over. Unfortunately, not everybody thinks this way. So what if people think there are different endpoints in the game? How could this possibly be bad for the community? Well, it comes down to how people like to dismiss others' viewpoint or opinion simply because they haven't achieved as much or gotten as far in the game. As if you aren't entitled to an opinion if you haven't played the game as much as someone else. It's like, if you haven't watched a movie all the way through, you aren't entitled to an opinion on it. Well, look, if I couldn't get through the first 15 minutes, what does that say about the movie? But even still, with games, it's a little different because you can get through the first 25% of a game, feel completely satisfied, and actually have a positive opinion about it, and never play the game again. Here's a little known fact. Most people who watch a movie will watch the entire movie, but with video games, most people who play a video game will not engage with most or all of what the game has to offer. And despite that, most people will enjoy their time with the game, no matter how limited it is. And what a lot of us don't realize is that while some game developers don't work this way, Capcom designs their games so that people who don't 100% a game will still be able to enjoy it and feel a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment. There are built into Monster Hunter several exit points. Several places where people can stop playing and feel like they've beat the game. By design, you don't sell tens of millions of copies of a video game without having these exit points. Because there aren't 20 million people out there who all have 100%ed the same game. Has this ever happened with any game ever? 20 million people 100%ing a particular game. I would bet not. So if you design your game in such a way that people will not feel fulfilled unless they 100% it, then most people who play your game will walk away with a negative opinion of it. And that's bad for business. Some of you who play more video games than I do might even be able to name a few games that are like this. So since the game is designed to have several exit points, then it's elitist to dismiss someone else's opinion of the game simply because they haven't reached the same exit point that you have. After all, they have engaged with the game the way the developers intended, and so have you. Therefore, you're both entitled to your opinion, and both of your opinions are equally valid. Now, if someone comes into Monster Hunter, plays exclusively multiplayer, and simply trolls everyone the entire time, then goes and writes a negative review on the game, you are right to and should dismiss their opinion because they have not engaged with the game the way the developers intended. Nobody's forcing you or anyone else to play the game the way you're quote unquote supposed to, but you'd be within your rights to tell them to bark up another tree. Take a look at Reaver Jolt, another great YouTube channel. He plays Monster Hunter in some of the craziest, most creative ways I've ever seen. Beating the game without sharpening, beating the game without attacking, just a ton of wild and crazy stuff. And he does this because he loves the game. But just imagine if someone played Monster Hunter and refused to sharpen their weapon, then went on Steam forums and wrote a negative review saying, this game sucks hard. Well, I'm pretty sure everyone would think it was a shitpost. But if somebody goes on Steam forums after beating Narwa and says, yeah, I didn't really care for the game. Well, Narwa is a built-in exit point. And if you don't enjoy the game by the time you beat Narwa, you are well within your rights to complain about that because Capcom failed you. And Capcom will acknowledge this. So don't tell people like that, that they're wrong or they're stupid. It only makes you look like an elitist gatekeeping snob. 